is my first is my first thought I have to share. It's so cold, and you've all been standing outside. Yeah. I know. Yesterday was wet. It was snowing. Yeah, it was freezing. It was freezing at 4:30 in the morning. Were you out? Here? You were not here at 4:30. What? Have you been drinking water? You guys, okay, I'm actually fucking, we're gonna have a conversation. I'm literally gonna take this moment. First of all, thank you for being here. I'm Gracie. Hi! Guys, so many familiar faces. Literally, like, I'm like, I know all of you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Guys, I remember everyone. It's like, so, I, I love you so much. I can't, I can't. I've missed you. Also, like, everyone's grown. Everyone's, like, growing up. That's like, I like almost, I hope that you can come to every tour we ever do because then we're, you know what I mean? Because we're, I'm like, I'm like, hi, everyone's growing up. It's scary. No, trust me. That's how I feel every day of my life. But I do want to, because of that and because I care about all of you, I'm uh, going to tell a story, which is that in Toronto, we had like a shit ton of people pass out throughout the show, which like totally happens, but is avoidable by hydrating like crazy. Hey Have you had water? Okay, cool. So, awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, so drinking water and then like not locking your knees and often, obviously you guys have been like, you're the first people in here, which is so sick. I know that like if, if you were like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna faint and need to take five or ten or however long like in the back of the room just getting some air like I know that everyone around well like yeah okay good that's my speech okay really oh. you have a plan like a pass out oh That's so smart. Damn, you guys are obviously smart. <laughs> so, have any of you been to VIP before? Yes. Okay. And were any of you not at the last Boston show? No. You were not. So, for, for the so, have any of you never been to a show before? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we met last week. Oh, we're you're back now. Um, so for those of you who've never been to a show, welcome. Um, for those of you who've never been to Soundtrack, extra welcome. Um, this is like my favorite part of tour, sort of, is like getting to hang out. And um, it's Mac gave you the whole rundown, but it's kind of like we just talk shit for <laughs> however long. And it's, it is true. And I'll play some songs eventually and then eventually eventually we have the show and then we'll all, we'll all be here but this room is so great have any of you been to this venue before yeah. yeah i've never been to this venue before but my my family's like all from maine and like new england so this is like you're from maine where are you from oh so i go to camden every summer oh you do the way that we have a place that is so special to us oh that's nuts Nervous. It's okay. I'm nervous every day of my life. Literally every day. Hi. Camden. So you're familiar. Do you go to the Camden Cone? The ice cream store? Yes. I love Hi. Camden You do? Yeah. I go to Main College of Art in Scotland. Oh, Scotland. Correct. That's amazing. What do you study? Uh, jewelry. Oh, whoa. I made these. Yeah. Wow. What is that material? Beaded? Yeah. Beaded with gold wire. Wow. You're good. Do you have like an do you have like a, a thing to shout out for people to purchase things from me? You're working on it. someday. Someday. That's amazing. You're really talented. Um, well, yeah. So Maine is a special place for those of you who. But anyway, point being, I have a bunch of family coming. Is that Sonia? Yeah. Hi, Sonia. That's my aunt, Sonia. I miss you. I love you. Where is everyone? Oh my God. Hi guys. These are my cousins. Oh. Yes. 
love you too. I love your vest. How was your drive, you guys? Okay, good, you're good. Do I need more credit? I don't need anything except for time with all of you. That's my, uh, that's the truth. Wait, I'm so happy you guys are here. Okay, wait. We're, we're gonna, we'll hang out after. Um, oh my god, okay, but yeah, I have so much family coming tonight. This is like a whole, this is like an, an especially special, a family reunion in many senses, it feels. Um, family reunion in all the aspects. Should we do questions, Mac? Yeah. Uh, is your mic on? Yeah. Oh, it is. Cool. <laughs> Couldn't hear it in my ear. It's on. Let's awesome. go. Awesome. Awesome. Here we go. Let's start right here. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Kylie. Kylie, hi. It's okay. Don't ever apologize. People tend to apologize for Flash, but it's inevitable. Um, <laughs> don't feel bad. This is like insane right now. Like, I'm freaking out. Um, was there any songs that inspired you while writing Good Riddance? Like, anything? Anything? There's this song called California Stars by Billy Bragg and Wilco that I love. It's a good question, I'll say. Um, I love that song. I listen to a lot of Jamie XX. Throughout, I listened to a lot of Brian Eno. Lots of kind of like more ambient stuff because we made the album while we were also on tour. So it was kind of like lots of noise all the time. And so whenever I would listen to music, I, I tend to, I, I would, lean towards the like more ambient stuff with space and kind of that uh, was relaxing for me. Uh, also Restax, I listened to that song, Bony Bear on, on repeat. Like every night. It was my most played song last year. Um, thank you for asking. Okay, I'm going in. Hi Gracie. Hi. <laughs> wow this mic. <laughs> I know it's it's professional. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm sweet. I went to soundcheck last year and I'm so nervous and this is, this oh is just the best. <laughs> um, my question is, um, when you're on stage, what are you thinking about when you sing these songs? Like whether it's the, the meeting involves over time or it's the experience that inspired to write the song or just like really random thoughts. Yeah, no one's ever asked me that question. Um, good question. Um, well, it like totally depends. The thing about touring that like I have appreciated more and more every show is that the, the meanings of the songs get to have this new life because of these new memories associated with them. So like um, I try, it's not really like a thing I can control, but I feel like I often like lock in with many of you throughout the set just because it's like shared experience and that means so much to me so a lot of the time I'm kind of just thinking about the fact that we're all in the same room um, so that's one thing uh, depending on the day and uh, feelings I'm sometimes I'm thinking about what I wrote about and like that definitely can come up and also sometimes it like can be this haunting thing that's like a curse where you're like, I didn't want to be thinking about this person or this time today, but like, here we are. Yeah, so I feel like, but this is the best, like, environment to, to, yeah, it's like a very vulnerable space. I feel like you've all been so, like, open with me in terms of how your experiences have been aligned with mine, and, and so I don't mind, and then, yeah, sometimes I, Sometimes, like, there can be moments where, um, like, personal life things pop up ahead of a show, and it's super inconvenient, because uh, you're like, um, yeah, you're just, like, going through things that you're like, maybe it doesn't feel like the right time to be, like, walking out on a stage, but immediately that always goes away. So that's not something, that's, it's nice because of our relationship. I don't ever feel like, I really genuinely don't ever feel like I have to be putting something on in order to all be in the same space. No, I just like, you know, it's, it's really comforting to all be together and often cures whatever like lingering strangeness I may be feeling on any given day. But um, thank you for asking. It's a really good question. Sometimes I heard you say weenie someone earlier. I'm like, yeah, sometimes I'm thinking of my dog. Hi. Hi. So does mine, I feel. What's your name? Um, my name is Dermot. Nice to meet you. You too, thank you so much. Um, have you ever written a song about somebody and told like a different person that it was about them? <laughs> probably. Drama. No, I prob uh, probably. 
or I've probably no not maybe not that version of it but I've definitely written songs about people and then been like it's not about you do you know what I mean yeah I'm like walls up <laughs> I, I, yeah although but it's 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 tough um, because I feel like I don't know there's not for pe I don't have like, uh, how do I say this? there's not like some long list of names you know what I mean like I don't have very many um, <laughs> there aren't a thousand people that it could be do you know what I mean so it's a bit and I feel like unfortunately I've gotten too specific sometimes with my lyrics that there's not much room for guessing um, but I love that question I d it would be like so manipulative of me to, to like write some love song and, be, and feel like it's about you when it's not um, maybe I'll like use <laughs> I need to, I need to, but thank you for the idea. Oh my god, hi! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe, okay, hi. Hi, what's um, your name? Maddie, hi. I love you so much. Yeah, I love you, Freddie. Oh, thank you, oh, you just got it, you came on oh, while Annie right. was up there buying it. Wait, I forgot my question, can I use yours? That's okay, oh. don't worry. Annie <laughs> came up with this. Okay, um, hi. Annie, Annie? Has a um, picture with you from the last tour. On oh, you look so familiar to me. You took my film camera. Yeah, you look so familiar. Let's redo that. I, okay, let's yes, do that. I okay, want to okay, redo it. Deal. I was so sad I wasn't there. But my our question was: yes. Do you have any like pre-show rituals, like warm-ups or anything that you do? Um, I should have more. I should have more. Casey, who's in our band, is like a genius vocalist and you know, musician, and she um, actually knows how to train vocally and practice and warm up, and I've been, like, literally the worst at being consistent with that, so I do, like, um, lip drills. Like, a lot less, like, a lot less, like, dramatic, but, like, same sound, yeah, and then um, before every show, we always huddle. That's kind of our thing, I suppose. Um, we always eat. And <laughs> eating is important. We eat and we huddle. Yeah, but there's nothing that I would like. I wish. I, yeah, that's our. That's kind of it. Yeah. And our lovey babies. Yeah, and uh, before every show, Dom. Everyone say what's up to Dom. Dom. Dom's oh, wife. We all. We all. We all say lovey baby. Before every show. <laughs> that's our. Okay, I'm coming in <laughs> deep forward. You and wow. Dom. Hi! Hi, I'm David. Hi, I'm um, 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 I, I love you. So, so like my best friend goes to like school in um, Clemson and she couldn't go and we were always planning on going because like we always were really connected. Hear music together and it was like something that made us really close. And like he couldn't go because he had a final. We're in architecture school. Wow. Okay. okay. I graduated. Congratulations. That's so. <laughs> Thank you. Really, that's so impressive. Yay, David. Thank you, David. <laughs> but sorry, I'll stop rambling. No, uh, never, never. <laughs> so, like, what song that you've ever written makes you feel the most connected to your inner child? Like Whoa. your childhood memories. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jesus. Um, no, I'm like, what, what a question. Um, um, well, in terms of like the joy of it all, a little? Yeah, in terms of I think when we made Where Do We Go Now, that sparked a kind of like, um, I just loved it. Uh, in the kind of way where I was like, I, 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 want to well i've actually i have a couple i have a couple that i think i don't know if i if you meant it in the way that i feel it but like the bridge and i should hate you makes me feel like yeah. connected to my energy yeah, the like kind of the entirety of where do we go now like uh when we made the song it felt very me it felt like incredibly like my insides in a song um uh, block me out is another one. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> was it all block me out? 
that tracks. I had one I'm lurking. Sometimes lurking. Um, God, well, I'm glad that you like the song. I, I, I think those are my three that come to mind, but um, yes, that's a great question. Inner child, it'd be fun to like write a song thinking about that specifically. Hi, Gracie. Hi. Sorry. Um, as you said, that I saw you last time, and it's just like really crazy that we're all here together. I'm literally gonna cry. <laughs> uh, I cry every day. So it's totally acceptable. But I like wrote you a letter and you took it. I don't know if you remember. My name's Annalise. Yeah, I, well, I also remember your name was, I was like, that's such a cool name. Aww. It's nice to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you. And we took that video during the bottom. And oh we, like, took my phone. And, it's, yeah. You, like, running around anyway, like, it, was, it was crazy. It's so good to see you, um, Oh, my God. Hi, yeah. Mom. Yeah. You're really, you've done the thing. <laughs> Listen, anytime you need a seat, we got you. Thank you for being here. Weenie's not here. I wish. I wish I would do anything. We need home. Ugh, literally, I'll cry thinking about it. Anyway, my question is, um, what was your favorite song to write on the album? Hmm. Okay, my favorite song to write on the album. Um, I mean, all of it was so fun, even though uh, it's sometimes about heavier stuff. I think the kind of relationship that Aaron and I have is so kind of like different than any, you know, friendship I've had with anyone else before. So it, it, even when we were writing about sad experiences or feelings or lower times, you know, whatever, it was like always, we could always kind of be celebrating throughout. Um, I do think um, I had a great time writing right now, just because it, it was a very um, kind of like, uh, the feeling behind that song was super in my face all year, and I knew I wanted to write write about it. Uh, and when we did, it was just, it felt really good to get out. So, but I think kind of like the whole. Totally, I know. Everyone's like, everyone's getting almost. It's <laughs> weird. Mm. Okay, I can play that. Maybe we'll do that now. Uh, oh, sorry. She said she said that she wanted to hear the blues. Yes! 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 I was so tired. Okay. Okay. Uh, if I if I can't hear you, which I can't. Why is my camera so bad? Tears are literally loud in this space. It's loud in here. Um, I'm looking up. You, I'm not texting, just for <laughs> I'm looking up, um... Which is convenient to be able to do... Let's see, what's it called? Oh. Oh. Um, I, so basically, like, previous... I also do have my in-ears in, so I can't hear you, so if I'm talking over you, it's not personal, it's just... <laughs> um, but, what I was gonna say is um previous soundtracks like last tour i kind of had it a little bit more structured or i like knew in my brain sort of like what i wanted to play but this time i'm like let's just see how we feel <laughs> sometimes people have certain requests or Yeah, the no. <laughs> I have a plan, okay. The night is young. That's her plan. Uh, well, this is called the blue. <laughs>
But do you want to request a song instead? Really? Yeah. I, I would do anything to get out of what you just asked me. Like, any song? Like, well, I'll see what I can do. Can you sing Grayson too? Like, I've been... I've been... Oh my God. Is that a fair trade? Yes! <laughs> I love you too. I've never played this song before, so and these chords might be wrong for me, but <laughs> Merch time. 